everybody, and it's Sonic Troy here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be showing you guys how to put your intro and your your video and face cam in all in the same thing. Now for the Mac. So when you're on your Mac, what you're going to do is you're going to download iMovie. So let's just open here. Let it open. So when you're going to come in, you're going to see a uh, create new thing. I'll show you that. When it opens. Okay. It's opening. This isn't what you're supposed to see. I was just working on something else. Come on. So actually, here, so I'm going to delete all of this because we can actually use this. So, uh, you, you're going to create a new and you're going to click movie. And then you will go into a world that looks like this. So now, after that, you're going to make sure you have all three of your videos. Your face cam part, your gaming part, and your intro. So you're, I'm going to go to Finder, and I'm going to type in my intro, which is intro fourth version. So my first fourth ver version this is the one you saw in my recent video, my uh, Broken Bones video. Oh, I have to go to this Mac. So then you're going to drag your file and you're just going to put it in right there. And then exit there. So now you have your intro. So yeah, that's that. So that's actually how you saw my intro up there. And you can see my, er, well, you can't see my face. I didn't want to do face cam this time. And anyways, my brother was doing it using this so what you're gonna do now is you're gonna open back finder then you're going to have your what's it called your video so I want my Roblox video I'm gonna pretend so let's do my broken bones video you're gonna drag this down right here then you are going to let let's actually do transitions real quickly and if you want a transition like I do with cross zoom you're gonna put one here and then you're gonna put one here so now look look this is what it looks like and then it cross zooms oh wait that that was a little loud so huh let me see one more time. It's actually a little laggy. Let's see. Well, it's supposed to cross zoom, but it's a little blurry right now or laggy. So let's just ignore that now. Then you're gonna go to Finder. Then you're gonna find your face cam. Now, if you're using two different accounts, uh, one way to do it is either airdropping. But some people actually can't do airdrop, so there's another way, and I forgot. So you're going to do like this crop, then you're going to, er, I actually kind of forgot which one it is. Is it video? No. Is it crop? No. Um, no, I need it that way. Uh, hmm. I actually kind of forgot where it was. I'm pretty sure it's crop. No, it's here. It's this thing. I forgot what it's called. But, um, I'm pretty sure this is what it is. Cut away, and you're going to do picture in picture. So now you see that. Now you're going to make this a little bigger, and then place it wherever you want. I like to put it up in this corner right here, and then there you go, voila. Then you can watch the video. Hello. See, it pops right in there. 
Now the thing is you kind of want these two videos, your uh, face cam video and your other video should be the same length so it actually, you know, picks up and everything. So, yeah. It's it's a pretty easy thing to do if you have iMovie. You just have to it's I would say it's real easy. But if you don't have a intro and you really want to learn how to make one, I would suggest uh well, I actually am going to be doing a video soon about it. But yeah. This is really all. So, when I finish recording this video right here, I'm going to put this video and then go up here and YouTube. You can just click YouTube and then you're going to upload it and then there you go. It's technically on. So yeah, that's really cool. It's it's a really good way to, you know, actually have all of this together if you have a Mac. And the good thing is, if you want to learn how to screen record, I know this is not really the topic, but if you're really wanting to learn how to screen record also, you're going to, on a Mac, you get QuickTime Player as a free thing. If you click it, um, I'm I'm actually doing it right now, so it won't work. So that, I'm just going to exit out of this. So when you click on it, you're going to go to File, and then you're going to click New Screen Recording, which I can't do now because I'm actually doing it right now. And then you're going to click on it, and then, yeah. And then you're technically going to start it, and then, yeah. And then you're going to click this little button up here to end, which I'm going to do pretty soon. So, yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time in another video. Oh, bye.